Hey! Wow, this is sick! What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. If you're new, I'm Ocean, I'm a music producer and I make tutorials and reaction videos and all that good stuff around music production. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to top producers like Metro Boomin, Russ, Kanye West, their first beats in the deep dark corners of the internet or YouTube. I found their first beats and I'm gonna be reacting to them. I'm gonna be checking them out, seeing if they're sick if they were a prodigy from young, or if they're okay, just typical first beats. I'm not really doing this to bash them or like criticize their first beats or anything like that. More so, I wanna kinda give beginner producers or aspiring producers some motivation, some hope, because a lot I know a lot of you guys, and especially me when I started out, all my beats were terrible. I'll link in the description below reacting to my first beats. They were terrible. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. They were, they were terrible, terrible. I thought they were sick, then I played them to other people, then they told me it was shit. Then I realized, yeah, you're right. And now looking back, I realized how bad they were. And I know for some of you new guys, you new producers, you're probably in the same boat. You made your first five beats. They sound terrible. They're not what you have in your head that you're trying to put down and it's just not working. Maybe you've even got some feedback and people telling you like, this ain't it, chief. This is some motivation for you guys that everyone has to start from somewhere. You're gonna start from the bottom. Your beats are gonna be terrible for a while and you just gotta keep going, keep going, practicing and practicing until you get to a level. And these producers, I like the prime examples, unless they were prodigies, which we're gonna find out. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button right now, join the family, and if you haven't done so already, hit that bell notification so every single time I post, which is every day for the month of December, you'll get a notification and you won't miss another video. And follow me on Instagram at prodbyocean. I almost forgot my own Instagram handle there. Follow me at prodbyocean, follow my stories. I'm always doing giveaways and things like that. With that being said, let's get on the internet, let's go try and find these beats. So you got Metro 2010 work summary. So some of the songs he produced in 2010, eight years ago. Let's check them out. <laughs> Look at young Metro with his polo route. One thing you can tell straight away that this kind of beat is so 2010. Nice. It's not even a bad beat. If you try to play this beat in 2018, nah, it's not gonna work. But this beat is actually decent for his time. In 2010, this is what it was all about. All these weird synth sounds and stuff like that. Hey Metro, no, I'm fucking with you for this one. I can only be real, nigga. I mean, that's the only option I have. Man. Trapaholics, real trap shit. This beat is so, so. Okay. Wait, did you just hear that tag? This beat is so, so. Okay. Wow, that sounds crazy. You know it's Bristol Monopoly, nigga. It's the motherfucking takeover, nigga. nigga. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey, Metro. I would like to thank you, nigga. Wait, this is the Undertaker. This is uh, the Undertaker WWE entrance. Yeah. Let me express myself for your motherfucking beat, nigga. Nigga, it's your nigga take to the down, nigga. Who's having a block? Who's having a slum? Nigga, we running this Everyone loved that, game, that effect. Dang. 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 You know what I'm saying? Real money, man. Y'all niggas ain't getting no money, man. You know what, maybe Metro Boomin was actually a prodigy because back in 2010, like this kind of beat was popping. Loads of simps, snare rolls. Damn, son, where'd you find this? He ain't get no money. This is actually quite catchy. You ain't get no money. You ain't get no money. I'm not gonna lie, these beats are kinda hard. I thought I was gonna come here and find some just outrageous beats, but for the time, this was sick. I'm sure these are not the beats he first made ever, but this is like one of the first videos he ever put out of his beats. I've definitely seen some of Russ's first beats somewhere on the internet before, so I'm gonna go and quickly find them on YouTube. So there's this channel, Russ Demon, which has 10K subs. I'm pretty sure this is it. Garage Band Hip Hop, Garage Band Hip Hop Beat Free. All from 10 years ago. So let's check this out. Let's see what it's saying. Yeah. 
Wow. Whoa, that drop was crazy. That was off timing. <sighs> this is hard to listen to. We can all agree, this is a terrible beat. But look at Russ's evolution. 10 years ago, this is what he made. 10 years later, now he's making bangers. He's killing the game. That's what it's about, it's all about the journey. I'm sure he could probably look back at this and laugh his head off and be like, what the f was I making? I wonder if he even knows that he's got this YouTube channel out there that still got his old beats from 10 years ago. Maybe he made this channel, put all these beats on there and just forgot the password. Can't find his password, can't log in, can't delete this channel. I know I got some channels like that and uh, I hope you guys never find them. Let's check out what else he has. Garage Band Hip Hop Beat 4. No loops, musical typing all day. You already know about that. Whoa. Something is like super out of time in here. And this fuzzy sound, wow, this is crazy, man. Man, my beats were just as bad as this. Let's see one more. Hip Hop Garage Band Beat 2. I like this sound. It seems like there's gonna be a sick drop. I'm just waiting for it. All this suspense. Hey, this is kind of hard. Well, or maybe not, I'll take that back. But you know what, it's not, it actually, you know what, it's not even that bad. The melody's kind of hard. It's just the, that kick is crazy, it's too, it's too low. Hip hop beat I used, experimented with a mariamba. <laughs> no idea what it is, but it sounded good. No loops on MIDI keyboard. All right, next person I'm gonna type in is Kanye West. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that I've seen Kanye West first beat circulating on YouTube somewhere. So I'm gonna try and find that and pull it up. All right, so we've got Kanye West 1997 beat tape, all eight tracks. So from 1997, it's definitely gonna be, it's not gonna be really trap, it's gonna be like the boom bap from the 90s. So let's check, let's check this out, let's see what, what's going on. Set it off, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is kind of cool. This has got like a DMX kind of vibe. You, you can definitely hear someone going hard over this, like rapping some hard bars on this. This is actually kind of cool. Let's see what else there is. Beat four, the best beat. Let's check this out. Hey. Wow, this is sick. This is actually a vibe. This is hard. I can definitely picture like a rapper from the late 90s just hopping on this and making a hit with this. This has got like a super catchy vibe. Especially those bells. This is hard. This is definitely not Kanye West's first beat. But this is before he was popping for sure. And these beats are kind of hard. All right, let me try and find Southside's first beats. So this is the first video on his channel, uploaded December 2011. Let's check this out. Got that trap vibe going. Hey, he's had that vibe for ages. Oh wait, I just clocked that TM88 in the background right there. This is actually hard. Yeah, this has got some... This, this arc on top of it is maddening. But this is like, 
This is kind of similar to Metro Boomin in a way when I was saying the style of beat that was popular in the time, this is definitely it. Like if you tried to play this beat now, maybe it could work, but most likely it won't work just because the sound is outdated. No one's using those kind of synthy ups anymore. But this was the sound that was popping back then and like he's got that unlock from then. You can definitely hear a rapper from that from that time that was popular, I don't know, someone like Ace Hood going hard on that. I'm pretty sure the first videos I've seen, especially from Metro Boomin, they're not his first beats ever that he's ever made. I'd love to find them and listen to them and react to them. I'm about to do a deeper search. But as you can see, producers gotta start from somewhere. You don't start out perfect making hits from day one. It's a process, it's a journey. And just enjoy the journey, I guess. The more you practice, the more consistent you are. You get to a, a better level. Now look where they are. I hope that motivates you, I hope that inspires you and keeps you on track. If you guys wanna see me reacting to some top producers first beats, then link me to them and I'll see what I can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did smash that like button let's get at least i don't know let's try and get let's try and get 150 likes smash that like button now and leave a comment below let me know what you guys think i respond to all my comments as long as they're not spam and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in the future